Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. What are we, 55 games in now? Wow. I'll have to count later. Are you a chicken? Meh. I'm human. That's possible. Hello, welcome to the ride. How many people will be playing? All by yourself? Well, no worries. There'll be enough trivia and comedy for three humans. Are you a first time rider? Anybody else making the GLaDOS comparison since the start of this? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. May I have your name, please? No, it's mine. You can't have it. Were my instructions unclear? Please type in your name. No. You still can't have it. It's my name. Get your own. In that case, your new name is Flank. Flank. If you feel like buzzing, use the letter B. Have a great ride. I've really enjoyed our time together. Bye now. Still in the 900s, huh? for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Splat Lunch Meat, spreadable lips, anuses, and teeth for over 35 years. And now, yeah, that's here's about right. your host, Nate Shapiro. Woo! Hey there, welcome to the game. So, you're not a chicken, huh? Well, you might need a little tenderizer. I like my trivia like I like my meat. meat. Well done. Don't disappoint me. Okay, how much money am I giving away? Gotcha, okay, coming up. How about some nice blue meat? No. So we all know pork is known as the other white meat, right? Which of these could be known as the other red meat? Ostrich, terrapin, iguana, or spaminal? Not a clue. Oh. Too bad you didn't pick What's this. What's a spaminal? Ostrich meat is becoming more and more popular in America, and it's considered a red meat. But the thing huh. is, even though it's a red meat, it tastes just like ostrich. Buzz okay. the bucks, baby. There's the cash, and here's the category. Beef. It's who's for dinner. Okay, put your finger on your buzzer, and get ready. Here we go. If you buy some ground chuck at the market, who will definitely not be tonight's main course? An animated pizza selling mouse, the first man to break the sound barrier, a space traveler in the 25th century, or a friend of the unknown comic? A space traveler in the 25th century would not be ground chuck, but ground buck. Besides, who's got five centuries to cook these days? You'd be surprised. Buy the buzzer and give me a value. I thank you very much, and here is your category. Especially people who make a living at cooking. Where did you guys meet? Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. At what hot spot would you expect to find the elite meat? At the Yuppie's Choice Cabaret, Cookies Cutter Microbrew Loft, the Alumni Town Select Ale House, or the Primetime Martini Lounge? Huh. Usually call it choice. The Yuppies Choice Cabaret. What are you talking about? Yuppies don't have a choice. They have to watch Friends and drive their SUVs to Starbucks. Poor guys. Should have picked this. The elite meat is prime, the oh. highest grade. You know, yes. it's the same principle that makes Sam Donaldson of Primetime Live so out and out sexy. Time that book. Bingo. There was a farming cannibal and flesh is what he ate. Oh, F L E S H. How did he farm it? E S H F L E S H. And then he ate my mom. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Farm it. Okay, now don't forget when the first letter of the answer lights up, that's when you buzz in to win the cash. You snag all five letters, you get the bonus. Okay, let's do it. All you need is one. Family ties. Family ties. Caramel on a stick. Hmm. 
I don't know. Where is that thing? Sugar Daddy, okay. Please repeat the S. A divorce spouse is your one. X. X marks his blood. Home sweet what? Home sweet home. One more letter you got. Here we go. Steve Martin built a pair of what? Oh, what was the name of that movie? Good. This blank is your blank. This land. Step, step family. Flash. You got the bonus. Well, that was a better puzzle yourself. of the flesh than Phantasmagoria. Okay, kiddo. There you go. Okay, the category is great with wine. Just drink a lot of it first. Okay, I'm gonna recite a recipe, and you have to tell me the name of the artist we're making. Ready? One pound of ground Marvin a day, one pound of bulk Jim Steinman, one cup Rocky Horror Crumbs, one bat beaten, mix ingredients, bake in hell for two hours. Whom did we just whip up? Captain Beefheart, Humble Pie, Meatloaf, or Meat Puppets? Eh, he was in Rocky Horror. Meatloaf was born Marvin a day, and one of his most popular albums, Bad Outta Hell, was co-written by Jim Steinman shortly after Meatloaf appeared in the film version of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, he does get served up later for dinner, sprinkled with a little Tim Curry. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the value of the... There's your value, and the category you picked is called... Would you like your pigskin stuffed? Okay, Football I want you to imagine rotten. if all the teams in the NFL were actually companies that did something related to their team name, like the Steelers actually rolled steel, the Jets ran an airline, that sort of thing. If the Green Bay Packers were actual American meat packers, which of the following would be true? They'd be the NFL's highest paid team, they'd be the NFL's only Midwestern team, they'd be the NFL's oldest team, or they'd be the NFL's most injured team. I don't know what the big deal about American meat packers is. Probably oldest. Now the correct answer is... Of nope, all U.S. Injured. industry workers, meat packers have the highest illness and injury rate. But, I mean, the glamour totally makes up for it. I thought that was, you know, the crab fisherman. Buzz it in, baby, what do you want? Thank you, and the category is... Yeah. Free giblets with your subscription. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. Given the term that describes animal organs such as livers, kidneys, and intestines, what magazine would you expect to write about them? Barons, Field and Stream, Cosmopolitan, or Variety? Not a clue. You know what you could have picked? Variety you could have picked this. Variety. Yeah, because leftover meaty bits of a butchered animal are indeed called the variety meats. And the magazine's headline would be Putrid Pig Parts Make Parker Posey Puke at Party. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the highest value. Okay, that's what's on the line, and here's the category. Free order of fries with each government job. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Where would you be able to order a nice, juicy Warren burger? The Capitol Hill Deli, the White House Cafe, the Supreme Court Bar and Grill, or the Pentagon Food Court? Yeah, the Supreme Court. Chief Justice Warren Burger served on the Supreme Court from 1969 to 1986. And you know what? After 17 years, the guy got pretty tired of jokes about his sesame seed buns. Okay, how much money am I giving away? Never mind. Hosanna Pie Rivet Master. Yeah, at least what it's not a big money question. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We are still doing... We were doing these stupid questions in volume one. These are the dumbest... You can't... They don't even rhyme. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, what, and what, where the hell are we? What, what, what are we in a cage? What is this? I can't believe Guy actually read any of these things, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Alright, the gibberish category for this question is <laughs> a seaweed and potatoes kind of guy. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more money you'll make. Okay, here we go. Tell me, what does this rhyme with? Clam fur? Sure. Kelp? Durr. And as usual, the punctuation is just there to throw you off. Go for it. Type in your answer.
Well, if they could just come out with bologna helper, I'd be all set. You could use bologna and hamburger bus, helper. Baby. Okay, and that's going to be served up with a category good, called... but you could use it. Okay, who went wee 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 all over the carpet? A pig. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Or a Frenchman. Given the normal slaughtering age of little piggies, when should you chop off your child's toes and send them to the pork processing plant? When your child is less than a year old, when your child is five years old, when your child reaches puberty, or when your child has a child of its own? You know, you see so many stories about mother pigs being shipped off. Child of its own? Well, then it wouldn't be a little piggy anymore, now would it? <laughs> In case you're curious about the correct answer... That's right, baby pigs are usually slaughtered when they're six to seven months old for pork processing. Now, now you've seen those tiny little sausages in jars, right? Oh, I don't want to ruin anyone's appetite, but watch out for toenails. Talk to me, give me a value. Okay, um, and the category for this one will be... Where do pork rinds fit in? Get your Nowhere. eyes focused on the screen, here we go. According to the USDA Food Pyramid, which of the following snacks does not count toward your daily meat and proteins intake? A bologna sandwich, a BLT, a peanut butter sandwich, or a stick of beef jerky? Bologna, bacon, peanut butter. This answer has a first name. It's W-R-O-N-G. It hmm. has a second name, you know. Well, is I guess bacon you just, or beef uh, never considered this beef jerky was high in protein. According to the yeah. USDA, bacon is not a meat. It's a fat. But not to worry. Huh. Judging by the age that little piggies are slaughtered, it's just baby fat. <laughs> it's buzzer and tasty baby, baby fat. Okay, the category is... The devil made me eat it. You got your finger ready to buzz? Okay, let's get it on. Let's say you're a cop and you're investigating the scene of a crime committed by Satan worshippers. What clues will you probably find? The word pig written in blood, wheat gluten residue on the wall, saccharine fingerprints on the body, or a trail of soybean byproducts? Satan. Hmm. What's wrong, Lieutenant? Uh, I'd just like to get my hands on those healthy eating little bastards. A seitan is a meat substitute made of wheat gluten, which I'm going to guess tastes as disgusting as it sounds. Could be. Hey, buzz in to select the value. Wow. This is a forgettable episode. For me, anyway. Okay, hotshot. Keep your eyes on the screen. Here's your clue. What you got stuck between those buns? Yeah, it looks a little sticky in there. I, I keep your finger on your buzzer if I were you. Probably a good idea. So I have to match up the fast food chain with their signature uh, product. Where's the Whopper? C is chicken. Wendy's. They do have Frosties. It's probably the Dave's Dome. Yes, it is. Hardies. They like the big and tasty or something like that. Damn, almost perfect. Of course, it's not like you have any friends to brag to. I missed two. And had a really bad game otherwise. Oof. Well, that was special. 
Hey, okay, Shannon, folks. I just take care. Pork I'll see you back next tree. time for well, more. You the lucky one. Until Here then, Aunt enjoy the commercials. Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the Agrichem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. Occur to me where there's a will, there's a way, but you better start teeting me right. I need your hope. sign a permission slip. With four parents, I'll need a bigger slip. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. We're the swap -a -roos. The swap -a -roos. With mom and dad and dad and mom, there's no way we can ever lose. Swap -a That turned out pretty well. From the pure mountain spring waters of Colorado to the whispering wheat fields of Montana comes whole natural yummy goodness. 
Whole natural yummy goodness comes in 846 nature bursting flavors, including brand new sparkling flavin. Whole natural yummy goodness is made with the freshest ingredients known to science. If wrapped and stored in a cool, dry place, whole natural yummy goodness will become a treat passed on for generations. Whole natural yummy goodness from Mother Nature to your table via our laboratories. Whole natural yummy goodness from Organico and Arthur Daniels Heartland Company.